sounds good. Of course, he is being honored for winning an award himself. Well, there was so much going on this weekend, we had to bring you things to do in two ports. Uh, as Tom was mentioning, we'll find out so much more about what's going on later in 5.30 now. So, uh, John, we, we got to wonder, is the weather going to, how's it going to be this weekend with all this stuff going on? One of those deals, the morning's probably a lot better than the evenings we'll be going here as those typical thunders. Summertime thunderstorms pop up in the afternoon. Just got to keep that watchful eye to the sky. And of course, a good way to do that our live interactive radar on our WTTC app. Very handy. It's a very handy tool. In fact, I saw our producer Jeremy saying just how great it is. Right. Well, we want to show you how great the Skycam shot is. This is from Jericho. Wow, what a shot, huh? Love using this. It, it's beautiful. I mean, you just got the mountains in the background. Yeah, it's a little hazy out there right now. But man, oh man, what a sight to behold. Your temperatures this evening, they're nice. Low 80s, very seasonable for this time of year. Doing 82 in Burlington, 81 over in Plattsburgh, 76 Saranac Lake. And just about everybody kind of within a couple of degrees of each other. The cool spots are in the mid-70s now, like 77 in St. J, 79 right now in Montpelier. So another weather story we have going on is the wind speeds. It's been pretty comfortable. Southerly winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour, creating just some very minor wave action out there on Lake Champlain. So if you're a mariner of any kind, you've kind of enjoyed not only the sailing, but the relatively calm lake. Great for your ferry travel as well. But we're going to use Futurecast Windcast for tonight to show you that things will really be quieting on down, becoming nearly calm. And of course, with that calm wind tonight, yeah, you know what's coming. We're going to be looking at some valley fog overnight, and it could be locally dense if you're trying to get going very early on Saturday. Saturday afternoon, again, winds from the south, 10, maybe as high as about 20 miles per hour sustained. So perhaps tomorrow a bit more breezy than today. We take you to Storm Tracker 5000. As we've been mentioning, not a lot happening out there this evening. Just a couple of green blips here and again. There was a little green blip over Saranac. You can see it heading actually towards the airport there in Plattsburgh. But a lot of these showers are popping up and fading right back down as fast as they were able to pop up. So your evening plan's generally good. Could you see a stray sprinkle? Yeah, but are you going to cancel your evening plans for that? Nah. Looking further to the south, things are a lot more wet as you head downstate. Some pretty rough thunderstorms for some of those folks tonight, some of them producing some real torrential downpours. So the key player to our forecast has been this very stubborn upper-level low-pressure system, and it's going to be sticking around this weekend. Won't be raining all the time. Again, morning's pretty good. Afternoons, not quite as good. Keep that watchful eye to the sky as showers, thunderstorms, also a possibility. Nothing all that rough, though. You'll see a few flashes. You might get a good downpour, but certainly not seeing the hail and wind threat that we saw with some of those real rough storms last week. Lake Champlain for the next couple of days, not so bad. Upper 70s, again, just keeping that watchful eye to the sky for some of those storms. But the water temperatures, nice. About 70 degrees right now, feeling quite warm. Future cast overnight, we'll find ourselves with some fog as you wake up on Saturday morning. And again, the morning hours in general look dry. It'll be after about lunchtime that we'll start to see those storms fire up. Greatest chances for them over the Adirondacks and across northern Vermont, but I wouldn't rule out a shower anywhere tomorrow. Just seems to be where the better of the chances lie. Going into Saturday night, things quiet down again, but we'll likely see some of that fog forming, again, in those valley fog-prone areas. On Sunday, started dry, but again, the afternoon promises some shower activity. We are tracking the tropics for you as well. Tropical storm Bertha formed early this morning, and here's the track. You can see it's going to be passing pretty close to the eastern seaboard of the United States. Right now, no landfall for us, but of course, something to watch as things, of course, could get at least a little bit cloudy out of a storm track like that. Five-day plus two forecast. How average is average, you say? Well, how about this forecast? Temperatures each and every day near 80 degrees, which is the average high this time of year. Looks like we do finally dry things out, though, by the end of the week. I know, after you see those raindrops in a forecast for several days, it's nice to have some hope on the horizon. Excellent. Very good.